What is, what's the name of this one? The Gala Sport what? That's a Toro Evo, it's an old model. The Gala Sport Toro Evo. Yeah. And you've patched it a couple of times. What's they, the weight on it? Generally, they're like, they're like a, ra a race layup boat. They make different layups. Like if you people, if you're not like a top level racer, you probably wouldn't get a boat that light because you're gonna bust it up. This feels very light. Yeah, that's probably 16 or 17 pounds. Like usually they'll build them uh, for top level racers. They'll build them like 15, 16 pounds. Then they've got to bring them up to uh, nine kilos. What's you know? this one you have? Uh, Weight-wise, it's about the same. Well, you got that big-ass patch on it. Or No, that's, that's uh, a... Wait a minute, what do those things do? This boat, is, I've, I've redone the whole bottom of it, too. What What are that? Is that some sort of rail that you added to it? No, that came with the design, and uh, I wouldn't... It's not really very effective. It looks neat, but, um, you know, when you hit... Shallow rivers, yeah, it's the first thing you hit, and then so it well. Good thing is, this is deep water today, yeah, yeah, that's why we like it here. Now, this boat is torn up from the middle, yeah, the the middle a lot, uh huh, isn't deep enough, so don't go for any booths today. Uh, no, no rock booths, no rock booths. We... Damn it, here, pick this thing up, tell me what you think. Light as fuck. Feel of this thing, Shit, man. <laughs> oh my god, is that not insane? That's awesome, like I'm carrying the paddle and it. Dude, like the paddle is probably heavier than that. <laughs> it's 17 pounds. That's, that's sick. That is crazy. If you make it like your boat, it'll be half the, half the weight. Yeah. Do you have a name for these guys that paddle plastic boats? What do you call them? Awesome. Oh. I'll take that one. I like that one better. People with balls will see them. So we got to put in in the water, right? Like okay. Even with pads on, man, you're taking them in. Oh. Then we got to get balanced. Right, quit doing it. Yeah, Woo! This feels good. I, I'm seeing a crack on the deck. Hopefully, hopefully it won't, if this leaks much, I'll just trade boats. Oh God! I didn't he know. gave me a cracked one too. I'm already being sabotaged. Okay. Stability's not bad, actually. Once you kind of sit in it, the stability feels pretty good. Way you feel that power climb that's different yeah it's got like this wow it's very your initial every stroke feels like it propels you Plastic boaters feels like a damn missile. Pull it up, man. It just climbs current. Super easy. Yeah, there'd be no way I could climb like that in a plastic boat. I'm in the flow. All right, so now we're up in an actual rapid. Let's see how I can obtain up from here. Even when you're in a rapid, it feels like it obtained. Like there's no drag that I'm used to. I was just paddling through the current and I feel like I could just go right up that. You're gonna feel that on this wave once we get this raft out of here? Yeah. Uh, it's like super dynamic. Woo! Like oh yeah.
back there is where it wants to be. I'm full of water. I'm gonna have to empty. The name of this one I'm paddling. The, uh, that boat is a, the brand is Connect. Connect what? Yeah, uh, that is Connect Baco. The Connect Baco. The Paco Baco. The Paco Baco. That's a little bit older design. Okay. Uh, maybe six years. A lot of advances in small boat design. Okay. Every five years, kind of paddling small boats. You kind of want to do it every five years. Okay, so I. Up left. Yeah, it didn't have all that water in it. I had about 15 gallons of water. Yeah, I didn't even touch the rock that time. Yeah, downriver. This is the first time actually paddling downriver in one of these. So I had to change boats because the other one was taking on so much freaking water. Turn out of here. I want to go deep with these.
wouldn't last. No, if you, uh, the secret is to like turn as you come off the very thing you come on that side of the rock. So I mean, I definitely could have done it cleaner. differently than what I'm used to. Okay, final thoughts on the first time ever in a slalom boat. Number one, this boat's too small for me. It's taking on a lot of water. You can see how much I'm paddling around with right there. Number two, I'm not outfitted at all for it. I need, my feet were just kind of like dangling around in there. So it was really hard to transfer my energy. But I really liked how smooth this thing went around the river. You guys don't know until you've been in one what it's like to, to kind of zip around the river. You feel like you can make even the class two, three currents feel like just lightning moves, but you don't want to be in a big, humongous hole, I can tell you that right now. Overall, I like the, like the first time ever in a slalom boat, that's for sure. Very fun, was easy to roll. Wasn't as unstable as I thought. It's got a lot of good initial stability, but once you get it here, she's gone. Uh, really fun, if you guys get a chance to try one of these out, this is the Connect Daco. Taco Daco, whatever Alan was calling it. So yeah, that's all I got today on the uh, Koei Olympic course in a carbon Kevlar layup, it looks like. Yeah, peace out.